Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about uh, jealousy for men and the topic for this video is how to deflect a jealousy outbreak. Deflection is, for instance, somebody tries to attack you. This is deflection. It's moving to the side, changing, you know, using like an Aikido move where you use that, that person's energy and you create something else with it. You know, it becomes a dance. <laughs> and so, Deflection is one of the core tactics that you can use to not dive into, uh, into a jealousy outbreak full on. Um, if you feel triggered by jealousy, you feel something coming, coming out to the surface, you feel like uh, an insecurity or a controlling pattern coming in, uh, you know, going full on into it would be like, you feel it, you express it, you voice it, you fuck up your relationship for, for the day or for the night, okay, or maybe forever. So deflection is a really powerful tactic to start integrating into your life. Here are five ways to deflect a jealousy outbreak and not allow it to take the space. So one of them is change topic, change the self-talk that you have in your mind. Again, this example where you are in the car driving back from a party with your wife or your girlfriend, so you have a jealousy outbreak coming to the surface. You have this self-talk. Yeah, she was chatting with this guy, you know, and I, we couldn't connect during the evening. You know, you felt, you felt left out. You felt rejected by her, things like that, you know. You can have this self-talk. And then instead of voicing that, you're going to voice something else, which is like, you look gorgeous tonight. I really like how you position yourself, how you talk, how you communicate with people in social situations. I'm so honored to have you in my life. You see, what you're doing is like you are praising her. You are bringing in the positives. You are focusing on the positives in your relationship and voicing them. Another way to deflect is to tell her about something that happened to you during that evening. Oh, I had a great conversation with Bob, with Roberto. Yeah, he's back from his trips to Italy, you know, and then you mentioned something, an anecdote about something that he said. You gossip. <laughs> you know, this is the thing that is interesting, is that you can gossip about other people, about their trouble, about what they are going through, even though that's not something that I recommend too much, but it's a way to deflect. You see, you bring the attention outside of your couple. If there is a deep issue or something that you should be checking in, then you deflect it and you keep it for later. So this is the idea. The deflection is, uh, the first tactic is to change topic. Okay, you change topic of conversation, you change your self-talk, and you start focusing on positives. You f start focusing on uh, praising her and giving her positive feedback. Second tactic of deflection is to go and burn the extra fire or the frustration that you might have in your system. So this means put your jogging shoes and go for a run. Go to the gym. Go and swim, go and bike, do something that burns physically the overload of fire that you have in your system. And guess what? That works fantastic. It's incredibly powerful to instead of start a conversation, you know, you are in the evening there watching some TV or just relaxing in each other's arms. Instead of voicing your jealousy that might trigger, you know, a whole evening of drama, you go like, hey, honey, I'm just going to with my jogging shoes and go for a run. I'm going to go to the roof for a moment, to the rooftop and be there, you know, scream a little bit loud, <laughs> you know, burn this energy that is right now in the core of my, uh, in the core of my system. Um, <clears throat> another tactic is instead of mentioning it now, when you have an outbreak coming to the surface, is to revisit the experience later. Again, this is doing a check-in sometimes later, sometime later in the week, you know, maybe today's Tuesday, you have the outbreak coming to the surface, you make a note on your phone, you take a little note about it and you say, wow, you know, Tuesday I felt this, na 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 you make your journal about it, but instead of saying it to your girlfriend or your wife, you keep it for later. You keep it for when you have the space to have a check-in together where she's really sitting 
she's posed, you are not getting distracted, and she will be receptive to what you have to say. So this one is revisited at a later stage. Another powerful deflection tactic is sex. <laughs> okay? If you engage in intimacy with your partner, with your girlfriend, or with your wife, it's, um, it's just going to create fire and energy and, and uh, strengthen the bonding experience between the two of you. So engaging into intimacy, engaging into romantic energy, into space, you're like, you know what, I hear this voice of the jealous guy coming in, but I'm not interested in listening to it right now. I'm going to dive into creating intimacy and connection with you. Um, yeah, another, another deflection tactic is to focus on your mission together. You know, suppose that, for instance, you have a jealousy outbreak coming to the surface. If you guys are in a space where you've got something to manifest, like you're building a house, or you are, you are giving birth to a child, or the children are already born and you have to organize things for them, or you have to organize a trip, you're planning a trip around the world. So you've got a mission, you have something that brings you back together, that's something that strengthens powerfully your, your relationship. So instead of focusing on the jealousy outbreak, you go like bring back the attention to, you know, to the mission that you have together. And if this mission is, for instance, you're planning a trip or a holiday to the Caribbean, then you go, you start researching stuff online, you start talking about it. What, what would you like to do? How long shall we go for? You know, and by bringing attention to what you have in common there, you are going to deflect uh, the chance of the jealousy outbreak coming to the surface because you are going to actually strengthen your couple. So I hope all that makes sense. All those are deflection uh, tactics to avoid a jealousy outbreak. Very powerful, again, change topic, train your, bo your body and, and burn that, that extra energy, revisit it at a later stage, have sex, focus on your mission. I'll see you soon for another tip.